what you just discussed was not only facing, but embracing the fear, right? Mm. Because facing it is, I know I'm afraid of heights. I'm facing that fear. I'm not just avoiding it and pretending like I'm not afraid of heights. I'm facing the fact that I have a fear of heights. But now I'm taking the next step and I'm embracing that fear and moving through it anyway. And that is a part that takes the courage or the hoop spa or whatever you want to call it, right? Like, <laughs> I'm doing it. Yeah. And whatever it takes to help you navigate into that, maybe you need someone with you the first few times to embrace whatever it is that you're afraid of. And then eventually, like for me, it was the fear of being trapped, right? And I would tell you, like, I don't like tunnels because I feel trapped. Mm -hmm. And I had to figure out what was it that caused me to feel that way. And when I was little, my brothers, we were playing a game and they didn't mean to, but I ended up locked in a freezer, right? Mm -hmm. And I was in there for a while and it freaked me out. And from that point on, I was scared of being trapped. And so I had to face that and understand, then move through that with someone with me that was like, it's going to be okay. We're fine. Keep your eyes open. Don't close your eyes. Look. Then there's the body sensations that come along with fear, right? Another tip. Don't overlook the body sensations that go along with fear mm -hmm. and find the ways to counter those body sensations. You talked about the pit in your stomach. I, my breath got really rapid, right? I'm like, <gasps> because mm -hmm. of course, bite, flight, or freeze. And you were literally experiencing frozen by fear. Yeah. A, little, a little too literal in this one. <laughs> exactly. And I wanted to like get, I wanted to claw my way out of the car, right? Like, I wanted to run, but I was frozen in a place and frozen from the <laughs> from freezer. The freezer, yeah. Um, but I had to counter those body feelings, right? So I had to deepen my breath because I noticed my breath was too shallow. So, okay, deepen my breath. I noticed I was gripping mm -hmm. everything around me. So I had to release my grip and calm that. I had you with me. It's okay. It's okay. You can keep your eyes open. It's okay. And so I had the calming external. If you don't have a calming external, listen to some calming music. But whatever it takes to embrace that fear so that you can navigate through it enough times that it might still cause a little angst in you, but it doesn't own you anymore. Mm -hmm. And it changes the game mm -hmm. because now you're not, your life isn't determined by avoiding your fears. It is determined by you choosing what you desire to do. And if there's something that you're afraid of that's in between you and achieving your goal, you're like, eh, I can do it. Yeah.